Hello friends. So yesterday I was working on uh, one of my projects and I faced this error and uh, spent some time until I got a solution for it. This this uh, SK editor 4.22.1 version is not secure. So that's what we're going to fix. And uh, then if you refresh the page, you still get the error. So even if you close and refresh, you still get that error. So it's annoying and disturbing. However, I want us first to go to this article from the ST from the CK editor ecosystem documentation. So he has said that the version check feature adds a notification system to the editor that informs users if the editor version is secure. So here there's another line. You can manually disable this feature by editing the option to force but we, we strongly recommend upgrading the editor instead so our link uh, our link to this documentation within the description so we are going to fix this error using two methods one method we, we can fix this error using the javascript method which is the js method only four lines of javascript to fix this error alternatively you can use a uh, css just one line of css to fix this error so stay on until the end So this is uh, my scripts.js files and this we are going to write the, the four lines of the other scripts. So we are starting with a uh, document dot add event listeners. If type of if type of CK editor CK editor must be a capital letter CK editor all the letters must be capital letters if type of CK editor not equal equal to undefined so we are running this statement we are writing this statement uh, in case if a uh, CK editor is not available on the page you won't get an error and if it's available you execute we run the code within here so here you're going to run the code to set the instance for the CK editor and our and they also set the configuration of the CK editor so for the instance and CK editor, remember CK editors, capital letter, all the words, CK editor, capital letters, not make that mistake. Dot instances. So we're going, here we're going to look through the, all the instances on the page for this CK editor so that we can uh, configure the settings. So if our CK dot instances dot instances instances as own property as as own property own O is a capital letter and even your property is a capital letter. So if there is a CK instance on the page so we, uh, we, we access it and uh, we configure the settings we're passing here our instance so our ck ck editor dot instances Here, here instance to config so here this we are configuring and dot version check dot version version check check c is a capital letter 
So you equate this to or equate this to false and that's it. So let's first make sure that we've made no mistake and uh, just take some time to look through line per line and see that they have made no mistake. And I think there's no mistake. So let's go to the let's go to the front end and we see if we have fixed this this pop up error which is annoying. So this is our front end page and this is where we are facing the pop up. So let's try to refresh the page and you see if we will fix this. So refresh page. So once you refresh the page, the pop has disappeared. You can, when you refresh again the page, the pop has disappeared. So let me go to the home page and let me open another blog post. Let me open this one. So let's scroll to the end. Ah, so it disappeared. We fixed this. And uh, so we've done it with our scripts with yes, just only four lines, with only four lines of yeses of yes, JavaScripts will fix this error. And so, so our next method, the second method, where we are going to use just one line of uh, CSS. Uh, I'm not going to do this because I've already provided the information on my blog post. Link is in the description on here on the screen. Check out this blog post for more information and for all the source code for this project. Nice time. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.